Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome to my scroll saw workshop. Going to put together a quick little video here tonight that is more of a demonstration than it is a tutorial. But what I want to do is show you how to uh, use Corel Draw to create scroll saw patterns. And again, this is not a tutorial, so don't think you're going to come away with the, from this video uh, with the skills of uh, how to create uh, necessarily the different individual pieces of this pattern. But I just want to show you the basics of once you have the pieces in place, how easy it is to make a pattern. So what we're going to do here tonight is we're going to make a little mini clock pattern that we can cut out on our scroll saw. And you can see on the screen here that I have a few pieces of clip art, some of which I've drawn, some of which I've copied or traced from uh, photographs. And once you have these pieces of clip art, which you can create yourself or collect over time, uh, it really gives you the flexibility to make just about anything you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this uh, outline for this mini clock pattern, and I'm going to put it in the middle of the screen. And this is going to be the base that uh, we're basically going to build this clock from. Uh, now, as you can see here, what I'm going to do is just a simple little woodland scene with a, a couple of deer and a tree, and then we'll add the clock to it at the end. So generally when you, you know, you're know you going to do a woodland scene, you need uh, land to set the animals and the tree on. So I'm going to go up here and grab my uh, drawing tool, and I'm just going to draw some land in the bottom of this clock. And it does I don't need to worry about how rough or clean it is because we can clean it all up at the end and I'm just going to go back up here and finish this off and you can see it smoothed it out a little bit so we'll we'll call that land it's close enough now what I'm going to do is select everything and I'm going to go up here and weld them together and that just gives us uh, the foundation to plant our tree in so let's go up here and grab our tree and let's say we want the tree to be right about there we'll plant him there I'm going to come over here and take the the uh, baby deer. I'm going to size him down just a little bit, place it right there under the tree, and we'll have the mama deer. Maybe I'll take this little piece right here, which is kind of in my way, drag it down just a little bit to give room for this mama deer to stand. And that's our little woodland scene. So again, I'm going to select all these, weld them all together so we got one piece. Uh, now we need a place for the clock. So I'm going to go over here in my scrapbook where I keep all the pieces that I use uh, very frequently. And I'm going to go over here and grab this, which is just happens to be the size of a uh, mini clock insert, which is one and seven eighths of an inch. And I need to uh, put the clock inside this circle. So I'm going to go down here and grab this tool, which is just the, uh, it's called the contour tool. And with that, I can go up here and contour that to where, where we'll have, this will be the cutout where the clock goes in, and this will be the piece that'll hold the clock. So again, don't try to follow these steps because I'm not trying to be any detail here, but basically all I'm doing is making a little oval to put our clock in, or a little circle. And we'll take our circle and put it eh, maybe right about there. Actually, wish it was a little smaller, but that's close enough. You'll get the idea. And again, I'm going to weld that. So now, within just a matter of minutes there, we've got a little finished woodland scene uh, that we can cut out and make into a clock. And I'll grab a couple of more pieces here. We'll go down and grab some wood texture. I think I'll use this right here, and I think I also want uh, this one right here. I'm going to push this all back together, and all I'm going to do now is we would save this as the pattern to cut out, and now let's say I want to make the, the pattern so I can look at it and see what it would look like if it actually had already been cut out. So all I have to do is take this wood texture, apply it to this, and we need a little base for it to set on. So we'll build our little base, stretch this out so it'll fit, go back up to effects, power clip, and you can see we have our finished pattern. Now all we have to do is add our clock to it, and we can zoom in and take a look and see how we did. So there is a very 
rapid fire pattern just to show you how easy it is to put patterns together in Corel Draw with just a little bit of practice and a little bit of skill building. Um, you can build just about anything you want in just a matter of, of minutes. Now again, some of this clip art that I have is going to take time to produce and I'll go back and just maybe give you a little detail on how some of this is done. Let me take this and move it over to the side and let's say we wanted to build this base. Well basically what we would do is we come over here and grab our circle tool and we say we want this to be four inches in diameter. We could come down to our compound tool. Again we'll make it, uh, let's go down to 0.2 inches right there and again don't try to follow these steps because that's not what this demonstration is about. And so you can see now I have my little circle that we want to put our our pieces in and to make a very simple base something easier than you know maybe what I've done there let's get everything all centered up here and we can move this down weld it together and you can see there is a base that we could use to build this clock around. I just happened to do a little fancier base on this one, but you get the idea. So that's the very, very basics of building uh, patterns in Corel Draw. And I know a lot of you have gone out and bought Corel uh, Draw recently uh, because I get emails from you uh, telling me that you have and that you're enjoying learning the program. So uh, I wanted to throw this together just for those of you that might be interested in getting started in building scroll saw patterns to see uh, the, the basic steps of how it's done. If this video is pretty well received, I could go back and start doing a series of videos, uh, which I've done in the past, but it was with an old version of Corel Draw, and it would be nice to have them updated. And I could go back and do a short series like this, showing the individual steps and exactly how they're done. I hope this was a little bit helpful to you guys. I'm Steve Good with the Scroll Saw Workshop, and we'll see you next time.